Welcome to my spring capsule wardrobe. This is actually my first time doing a traditional capsule wardrobe. This is made up of 40 pieces and is going to last me for three months. I live in the Midwest in Minnesota, so it can vary from like freezing to 80 degrees. So there's kind of variety in here. First up, we have t-shirts or my collection of short sleeves because I also have a few blouses in here. But this one is a v-neck striped top from Levi's. I love stripes as you will see. <laughs> This is a t-shirt that I've had for probably four years and I got it from American Eagle and it is one of the most comfortable, relaxed t-shirts that I absolutely love wearing. Another striped tee. It is kind of a muted color and it has wide stripes obviously as you see. <laughs> this one's from Levi's. It's a little oversized so I like to wear it usually tucked in. And being that this is a capsule wardrobe, you must have some basics like a gray t-shirt and then a white t-shirt. This white t-shirt is from Gap and it's kind of a thicker material, but I really love the sleeve detail. My favorite type of t-shirt to wear is going to be one that's like loose fitting, relaxed, and almost kind of has a vintage vibe, but like this green one. I have a few tops that are kind of like a blouse, you might call them. And this one is a cropped top with that little tie detail that I love, and of course, it's striped. <laughs> I love this really billowy, full, short sleeve blouse top, and I love the black trim detail around the neck. And then it has super cute buttons on the back that go up, and they are little black ones as well, which I just love little details like that. This is definitely the most bold thing in my capsule, but I thought I would jazz it up with a little bit of a graphic black and white pattern. Now on to long sleeves. This is just a super simple heather gray thin knit long sleeve. Just kind of one of those basic pieces that are just great to have in a capsule. I always have some version of this in my closet at all time. It's kind of a striped Parisian inspired long sleeve. They're just, I love them. It's probably one of my favorite looks. It's just a simple striped shirt like this. Olive or army green is one of my accent colors in my capsule and this long sleeve tee from Madewell is just really comfortable and a good layering piece. Uh, yep, more stripes. <laughs> this one's a little bit different. Each stripe is made up of like little stripes. So it kind of is a little bit different of a striped top. And this one is from Levi's. I'm really into blush tones lately, so I have this sweater from Madewell. I think it pairs really well with olive green, which I have a lot of in my wardrobe, and then like denims and navies and grays. This is a more saturated version of that. This is more of like a muted coral. And again, it just adds some color to my wardrobe. And I'm really into the step hem or split hem detail. You'll see this repeated a lot in my capsule. Onto button ups. I have three of them and I feel like they give a nice preppy structure to my capsule because a lot of my tops are more loose, relaxed fit. This was a thrifted find, again with the stripes, and I think it's from Gap actually, but I found it at a thrift store. This is another thrifted find. I actually found this in the boys department and this carries over from my fall wardrobe, but I think it pairs well with the rest of my spring pieces. And I mean, it's still pretty cold here in the spring in Minnesota. I'm realizing now that all three of these button ups in my capsule are actually thrifted. I found this one, I think it's a Kelvin Klein maybe, but it's a much lighter, thinner material. I think it's a really nice color and the material is perfect for spring. This might be one of my absolute favorite tops that I picked up last year. It's a bell sleeve. I'm totally into the bell sleeve look. I love the detail on the sleeve hem and I think that the graphic pattern keeps the look really modern. This is a really full billowy off the shoulder top. It's from Abercrombie and it is a vertical stripe this time. It's kind of like a light blue and white stripe. I really like the tie detail on the sleeve. 
I thrifted this white blouse from, I think it was Buffalo Exchange, but I always love having a white blouse in my wardrobe and I'm really into the detail on the elbow area and then the shoulders. This is my second off the shoulder top in my spring capsule. I like this one because the off the shoulder doesn't have to technically go all the way off your shoulder. So you can still layer it really nicely. And again, it has that bow detail on the sleeves that I love. Now on to sweaters. I live in Minnesota, so it can be pretty cold still in the springtime. So I have four of these thicker long sleeve pieces. This is actually a sweatshirt from Levi's. This is my only turtleneck in my capsule. It keeps me nice and warm when it's really cold here in the spring, but I love the kind of baseball type of pattern in it. It has like the ribbed center and then just like the kind of regular sleeve knit, and it's really warm when I found it at a thrift store. I've had this cream eyelet sweater from Gap in my closet for years, and it is a true staple. It's really warm and it fits me really well for being a petite person. I'm only five feet, so sometimes these oversized sweaters can overtake me, and I find that this one fits really well on me, and again, it has kind of that split step hem on it. This sweater from Levi's is a great piece to have in my spring wardrobe to help me transition from the cold to the warmer parts of spring. It's a bit of a loose knit, so it's a little bit more breezy and not as heavy duty as some of my other sweaters. So now on to more of my, my layering pieces. I'm not really a cardigan person. I don't know why, but I think they look funny on me for some reason, or maybe I've never found the right one. But this jean jacket is kind of my quote unquote cardigan. It's from Gap and I really love the wash on it. It seems to pair with a lot of my darker jeans really well and it just makes for a great layering piece. This is a linen kind of field jacket. It's really, really thin and it's kind of wrinkly and it kind of wrinkles as you wear it, but I kind of love that relaxed vibe of it and it makes for another great layering piece. I don't actually wear the hood on this piece, but I think it gives it a casual vibe to something that kind of looks more like a structured jacket. Another great layering piece or like warm piece that I have in my wardrobe is this vest from United by Blue. It's crazy warm and it's kind of a tan color that seems to complement a lot of the blue gravy, <laughs> gravy, gray, navy, and whites in my wardrobe. Now on to bottoms or which is pretty much just denim because I love myself some denim. These are uh, from Madewell and they're actually waxed denim with this cool little zipper trim at the ankle. I had had these in my wardrobe for ages and I finally went and got them tailored last fall and I'm so happy I did because I love wearing them now. I live in dark denim, especially in fall and winter, but I think it can transition still into spring and these are from Gap. I actually thrifted these J. Crew high waist denim, which are incredibly comfortable, but they're really long on me and a bit full around the ankle, so I need to either bring them to get tailored or maybe try and do it myself. I love that the raw hem detail is trending right now in denim, so I just cut these myself into the step hem because rarely do I ever find jeans that fit me in the length. These ones I actually didn't have to hem or cut, they came this way <laughs> from Gap and I think they're meant more to be like a high ankle crop or like almost a capri on people but they just fit me like normal. I'm a really big denim person, I live a pretty casual lifestyle and don't need to have like dressy work clothes. I wear denim to work a lot and this pair is from Banana Republic. These girlfriend fit jeans from Gap are easily my favorite jeans this spring. Joel makes fun of me because he calls them my mom jeans because when I wear them too many times they stretch out a lot, but I kind of totally love that look. I had to include a pair of white denim. I love the look of white denim, kind of like a creamy white is my favorite. 
I only have two dresses in my capsule. First off is an army green colored one. It's three quarter length sleeve and has that tie waistband, which is great for my petite frame. In May, I have a bridal shower and a bachelorette party to go to, so this will be my outfit of choice. I love the feminine floral print and the flowy cap sleeves on this dress. I also feel like it'll transition perfectly into my summer wardrobe. And lastly, I have a wrapped jersey maxi skirt in a gray color. I think this will be a great alternative to all the denim I have in my wardrobe, and being that it's gray, it'll pretty much match everything. So that wraps up all 40 of my spring capsule wardrobe pieces. If you'd like to see an accessories capsule, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure that you're subscribed and head on over to my blog where you can see photos of all these pieces and links to everything, which will also be in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!